Hello ladies and gents, Romeo Reviews here. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 9 Episode 8. So this was a really good episode. It was a really good episode, but it was also <laughs> extremely draining. <laughs> so let's start this off with Yandy. We see, which we already knew, Yandy uh, got temporary, temporary, was it, visitation? rights or essentially like she's temporarily a foster mom it's not all officially said and done and finished and squared away but the process has started and the judge will allow her to um have infinity to stay with them stay with her for now yandy's letting her know that she loves her but there are rules she can't just go and do whatever she wants she has to go and clean up her room she has to wash dishes this is not a hotel this is now your house. I need you to be accountable and responsible. And Finney's just very happy. And I'm happy for the both of them. Then we see Joe. Joe's at his house. And he actually has Dr. Jen. Dr. Jen is a staple for the VH1. Um, VH1, maybe even MTV platform, franchise all those shows, she's usually the go-to therapist. And she's good. I, that's why I have to give it to her. She is good. Um, she definitely worked with people who have real, real issues and made a difference for them. Now, she's talking to Joe, and he's stressed. He's stressed because he feels really bad. He doesn't know how to help Sin. And it's not just about Sin, though. He also feels bad because we know Joe Trey is his older son, um, he has a good relationship with Trey now, but growing up, uh, his son, he didn't have as much communication with his son as he wanted for a lot of reasons, and now he's doing a great job with baby Lex, but, but, it's kind of a catch-22 of, he still lost all, lost all that time with his firstborn, <laughs> and now it's like he has this amazing bond with his new baby but he doesn't have a bond at all with sin because she's going through so much he is working more than he's worked in a long time and he's crying so then he invites sin in and so then sin needs to have her own therapy session and within like two minutes because sin she's never done something like that before so it's just like, uh, talk about real emotions, the stuff that really bothers you. Um, sin let it be known. And kind of like I, what I said last week, Sin was molested when she was five years old by a woman. This is someone who her mom thought that she could trust to take care of her daughter. That was not the case. Sin is the oldest child um, as well. So I don't know if this woman also... T Will care of her sisters or if it just started and ended with her she said that she didn't even tell her mom she told joe and maybe two other people and that's the main reason why she does not trust anyone to change her son's diaper to even really have too too much contact with her son without her being there essentially if it's not her mom then she just it's, it's not happening. And I I appreciate the transparency and the honesty. And it's really big. It's really big because to go and say something like that on for the public to hear, it's going to help a lot of people. Um, Joe, hearing that that's really where her head's at, he understands now that, okay, because Dr. Jen even said, she doesn't think that it's postpartum. Like, yes, yes, obviously depression, absolutely. And part of that, of course, could have been brought on by that. But the underlying issue isn't postpartum. The underlying issue is her issues that she never dealt with from childhood to now being an adult with a child. That's stressful. That's draining. And so she doesn't know how to do it, how to handle it, and... So I really appreciated, you know, Sin, like I said, she's helping, she helped a lot of people by doing that. Um, now we get to the foolery. Now we get to 
Sydney Star, she goes and meets up with Jonathan. She talks about how she feels like Nia Lee and Rich and Jacque, they're all trying to sun her. They're all trying to tell her about herself and about her image. And she doesn't like it because her, her main point is she's going to be her. She's going to be fabulous. She's going to do whatever she does. She's going to dress however she wants to dress. She gets up on the counter and starts rapping. And I said, well, this is a different rap, but this isn't any better. What is that? Jonathan looked at her like, get get from down there and, and please stop. Please stop. She said she wanted to be the transgender Cardi B. She keeps walking into everywhere like she's a transgender queen. I'm thinking, can you stop? We know that. <laughs> we know who you are. <laughs> That's not your moniker. If you want to be seen as a person and not just seen as a transgender woman, because yes, you are a transgender woman, but you just want to be treated like a woman. There's a couple of things that you're going to have to do differently. Sorry about that. And then he goes and licks on her nipples. And I'm thinking those people look like we weren't told at all. This was going to happen. <laughs> so then now we see, now we see Yandy go meet up with Miss Judy and Miss Judy is upset because she feels like, okay, Infinity, okay, I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but you don't know her from a can of paint. How do you have someone who you don't know around your kids like that? Yeah, he said, I've known this girl for a couple of years now. I'm thinking, you've known her for a couple of years, but you clearly don't know the full story because you're about to be told part of it a little bit later. But anyway, I get Judy's main concern. My problem is, is that Judy did say that this girl... I did my own research on her and it doesn't seem like she's really a part of the foster care, um, foster care like that. It doesn't seem like it's as bad as maybe she's telling you. I'm just saying, don't full out trust her. I said, okay, even though I don't like the first half of this conversation, Miss Judy isn't wrong. You have to make sure you have a clear picture of who infinity is. If you're going to continue because in, this needs to stop now, if it's not going to continue. Rich talks to his mother and I love when his mom's there because she this is a prime example of your parents can show you the way but you still have to learn for yourself because his mom definitely isn't enabling his actions Rich is grown so he's doing what he wants to do um, but she tells him you have to take a more active role in your daughter's life your daughter is going through it right now and you don't know because she's not coming to you to talk to you about it in detail uh, apparently miracle which is his ex baby mama she had this issue with her um she had issues with her the ch the what was it what am i trying to say with her ex-husband i think it was her ex-husband and the problem is is that now is a situation where she could go to jail she ended up shooting him yeah it got that bad where she ended up shooting him and now she's potentially being prosecuted he didn't he didn't do any charges mind you he did not do any charges against her but it didn't matter it didn't matter because they felt like hey this thing happened in the first place so we need to investigate and Rich's daughter was the one who had to take him to the hospital. That is insane. So now Yandy um, goes and she meets up. Yandy goes and she meets up with the uh, Infinity's mom. And this threw me off a little bit. It threw me off a little bit. Sorry, guys, I'm doing like multiple things at once. Uh, this threw me off a little bit because Infinity's mom was. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Infinity's mom was saying that her daughter is great. Her daughter is smart. Her daughter is beautiful. The problem is, is that she has six kids. Let's just call it what it is. She has six kids and Infinity at some point she started sneaking out, saying out late, um, talking back, sent her to her grandmother's and her grandmother was really strict. So then she left there. And so then she, you know, someone called the uh, child protective services. So CPS and, you know, she's been foster care ever since, but she's saying she, infinity's only been in foster care for since November. Yandy's confused because she's thinking, but 
And Fanny said that she's been in and out of foster care all of her life. So there's these huge discrepancies. She's going to have to figure it out. But the mom was so appreciative and happy to have someone like Yandy watching out for her daughter, which I thought was cool, except for, in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, that's nice and all, but shouldn't you kind of feel like, I appreciate what you're doing, but my goal is to eventually have my daughter back, so maybe we can work together to make that happen. I just thought it was weird. So I feel like she's just so overworked <laughs> because she already has five other kids at home that she's like, oh, okay, my daughter's in good hands with this woman that has money. I will take care of her. Great. That's messed up when it's that bad. Now Jonathan's hosting a makeup tutorial and apparently he used to do the um he used to work in a strip club and do the strippers and um, bottle girls um makeup Niall he was there she looked nice more, more natural look cool in comes sydney again apparently she destroyed the dress that Niall gave her put all these slits in it opened up the chest area um put in this netting on the side it definitely looked trashy it looks trashy and the problem is i get it sydney you don't want people telling you what to do but if you want things to change you're gonna have to take some other people's advice that's her problem she doesn't want to hear other people's advice she just wants she wants it to be said the way that she wants it to be said but clearly what you're doing isn't working it is not working it is not so Niley is going off because she feels like I've done so much for this girl. And then Sydney did that. I said, who the f I <laughs> When she did that, I looked at Sydney like, oh, get knock if you buck. <laughs> I have time today. I have time. And then she did it again because she's a joke. She's a clown. Clown. When you do foolery, that's what comes back to you. That's what she does. And it's annoying. It's annoying because she wants to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, that's never going to happen as long as you continue to act the way that you do. <laughs> now we get to Yandy. Yandy is concerned because her assistant said that Infinity ran out of the car, um, you know, when the car was parked. I'm thinking, what? So Yandy's down the street trying to figure out what's going on. She's clearly mic'd up. And I saw... <laughs> it was funny. It was funny because I felt like okay, this is a weird impromptu scene. This is outside of Yandy's place? Or, like, where is this? <laughs> she's trying to figure out, okay, where is she now? Because she's talking to her assistant. And then Infinity comes walking down the street. I was trying to look to see, wait, does Infinity have a mic pack on? She does. So here's what probably happened. She ran out, and then she realized, okay, what am I doing? And then production called up with her because she had a mic pack on unless they pre-mic'd her that's the part that's confusing to me so then Fiddy was upset because Yandy went to go and see her mom behind her back Yandy said I need to talk to your mother to see what's going on I hear what you're saying but I need to hear her as well this is a very situous situation and so Infinity was highly upset at Yandy and felt like Yandy betrayed her and i said hold up you felt that way but then you went and ran away and freaked her out because that's the power move that i guess you say that you have now what i will say is infinity clearly did lie infinity said that oh she's been in that foster care basically her whole life no she's been in out of foster care for months which could feel like forever if she wasn't in good homes um so i understand that my problem is, clearly, you were doing some things. Whether it was because of bad things were going on, it's just about the acknowledgement of, yes, this did happen, or yes, that did happen. That's it. That's that's all it is. Because now we have this situation where Yandy is scared. Because she's like, who did I invite into my house? This girl does need help and love and affection and attention. But I can't do that if she's going to go and do some jankity stuff. I have two other kids to worry about. That's just how it is. So then they hug. Yandy's crying because she said she loves her. She said her mom said all these positive things about her. Said, And then if he said her mom is a drunk. And she has this boyfriend who just stays in the house. I said, uh-oh. 
did the boyfriend try to do anything and your mom downplayed it because that's the type of energy that I'm almost getting and I don't like it I don't like it one bit so now Joe goes and he has this little like impromptu with Remy and Pap and apparently Joe did carve out time for Sin but Sin wanted to go and hang out with her girls left the baby with her with the grandma and went out with her girls and Jonathan had a good time Pap is saying that, you know, all of this would change if, Joe, if you put a ring on it. Sin had that look of, see, Pap, th see, Pap, that's why you, that's why people say you a good man. She didn't say that, but that's the look that she had, like, exactly, <laughs> that's it. But, Joe, I'm thinking, no, it's not that simple. <laughs> it is not that simple. This is a situation where they need to really work on things. Now, the episode rounds out with, um... Oh yeah, Amanda Seals has an HBO comedy special, I think this Saturday or Sunday, but this weekend, so we need to go and support that. Now, Rich, who this is a powerful scene, he goes and meets with Miracle and his daughter, and he goes and talks to Miracle separately because Miracle didn't want to have the daughter overhear it. I'm thinking, no, she needs to hear it. The scariest thing for a kid is to have, to be in the dark, to not have a clue about what's going on. They know bad things are happening because... Rich's daughter said that the fact that she had to, has to go and cover her sister, her baby sister's ears while they're arguing or fighting. And she's just like, she doesn't know what to do. And I said, this is terrible. She has a whole father in New York and he doesn't know what's going on. That's a huge problem. And I'm glad that he acknowledged that he wasn't actively in her life the way that he should have been. Because if he was, this wouldn't have happened. I'm not going to say, oh, if they were just all together. No, no, no. I'm saying if it was more of a situation where she felt like she could go and call up her daddy and say, here's what's going on. You need to come down here because that's what should have happened. It didn't. So he, I'm sure that made him feel very guilty. And he said he told Miracle because Miracle is the type where she is very, you know, faith and religious based, which is beautiful. The problem is she's not putting in the work. She went and shot the guy probably to defend herself, but now she could potentially go to jail. And she's just trying to downplay it. Well, yeah, if I have to do a couple of years, then that's just what I have to do. No, we're fighting. No, if he was doing some foolishness and he's not even charging you for it, we are fighting it, period, period. Yes, we believe in the Lord. We also believe in work, praying alone. Miracles do happen, but it is not the only thing you should be doing. That's what he was trying to get through her head. Like, come on now. Come on. I'm pulling in all this energy for people that didn't watch it. And, and then he started to cry because he said, look, from this moment forward, I we're going to get you into therapy as in his daughter. We're getting into therapy. And she was like, yes, thank you. Um, She... He, and because she was the one that had to, again, drive her stepfather to the hospital after being shot by her mom. It's a cluster F. It's a cluster F. So I'm glad that Rich was crying. I said, oh, this is a powerful episode. Oh, this is, this is a powerful season. Look at Mona Scott Young giving us some quality. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.